You like that shirt? Guys, it's from Amazon. Check it out, right below. PUBG for the win. I love PUBG. I may not be very good at PUBG, but I love PUBG. Anyway guys, how are you? David DeFranca here from davidfranca.co. It's always linked right below. And this is the weekend of Lockety Vlog. Now he's currently occupied by birds outside. Now he's my cat for those new to this channel. Maui, say hello. Don't be rude now. Hey, I love your butt. Look at that black booty. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Good boy. Ow, ow, okay. Ow, ow. Stop. That hurts. Good boy. Do your thing. Eat your chicken wang. Maui doesn't really have a chicken wang to eat. That would be unhealthy. Actually, it wouldn't be because cats love protein, cats love chicken. But I'm worried about them choking on the bone, so do not give your uh, cats chicken wangs. Alright? And by wangs, I mean wings. I just, I just love saying wangs. Anyway guys, uh, this weekend should be interesting. I'm currently watching people outside do construction. You can kind of see them walking by. They, they've been on Main Street all week doing something. We have a propane guy coming today to install the fireplace. I was gonna be in the office today, down the street, but now that I gotta hang around for a freaking contractor, that means I gotta stay here. I'm not, I'm not really mad. I'm a little disappointed because I wasn't in the office as much as I should have been this week, and I hate I hate staying around for contractors. It's like one of those pet peeves that annoys me very much. But it is what it is. At least at least we'll get it done today. Um, next week, in theory, should be a normal week. I'm getting hot already. All right, guys, let's make this weekend a productive weekend. I don't really have too much going on, just more PC stuff, hanging out with the family, eating food, drinking lots of coffee. Um, I do have the patrons hangout tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Eastern, so that should be fun. Always is fun. Oh, and oh my god, speaking of the patrons, guys, shout out to my patrons. You guys are gonna get a very long exclusive vlog today. One hour and 37 minutes long. One hour and 37 minutes long. That's about the length of an average movie nowadays. That's insane, guys. I, I, I put so much time into those vlogs. So, I hope you're enjoying them. Just $5 a month, you get four exclusive vlogs every single month. Yes, every Friday I upload a new vlog, and so far they've been a huge success. Honestly, when I introduced the um, exclusive vlogs, my Patreon campaign went like this. Boom. This little spike is from the vlogs. People love vlogs, and plus they're exclusive, meaning they're super secret, so shh. Pledge right below and all that can be yours. Alright, let me start my day off with some coffee. The propane guy should be here soon. Not a big deal, not a big deal. I kind of have an office here at home with my MacBook Frizzle. Because come on, let's face it, you don't necessarily need to be in an office nowadays just to be productive. As long as you're focused, you're good. <coughs> <coughs> ah, gotta quit smoking. He was just meowing. Maui, you okay? What's wrong? No, Maui, you're not leaving. The scary world out there. What are you doing? This is why the door is open, Maui. See, so you can just look outside. There you go, good boy. God, you're cute. You're a cookie. So soft, beautiful coat of fur. There he goes. <laughs> He's like, you watching me? Yes, Maui. We're watching you. So this past week was insane in regards to technology. Hence why I'm calling the Pigeons Only Vlog Tech Overload. All right, here we go. Ready? And I promise I'm not going to talk about it too much this weekend because I talked about most of it last weekend and throughout this week. But I will give you a brief update. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Come on, let's go. There is my brand new PlayStation 4 Pro. I played it for maybe an hour because I've been mostly streaming in my bedroom. But yeah, it's a good console. You can definitely see 4K, and I gotta say, it's a beautiful thing. But in regards to the actual console design, it's not so beautiful. Because look, it hangs off way too much depth. And the Xbox One X is more powerful 
than the PS4 Pro. Explain that one. That is so much smaller than this. Is it a huge deal? No, but for someone like me who's obsessed with design, this kind of irks me. So at some point, maybe this weekend or next week, I'm going to cut little holes in the back. That way I can push this back because the only thing holding this back from going back there, and if I say back one more time, um, is the power cable. And I believe the HDMI cable as well, because if you look at the receiver, I cut a big ugly hole back there, just big enough where the cables kind of sit in. But when you're sitting down or whatever, you're not going to be able to see that. And yes, I realize it's not centered right now. I'll take care of it. Hey, Maui. What you doing? No. Why do you always insist on going back there? Come here. What are you doing? Come on. Hi. You're so cute. God, you really are soft. Soft AF. Anyway, PS4 Pro, very cool. Obviously, I have to play it more. But that's only because I've been mostly in my bedroom. Because I finally figured out the lag issue. Hey, Google. Stop. So, yeah, it has been perfect. Alright, so basically everything is going through the HDMI switch. Then the switch is going into the capture card inputs. Then the output from the capture card to my monitor. So then I switch to the HDMI input. But, this is where things get interesting. I have the Samsung display connected to my graphics card as a secondary display. And this connected to my graphics card as a primary display via DisplayPort. So, this is on both DisplayPort and HDMI. This is on HDMI. So graphics card, graphics card, capture card. And then basically you have to reverse engineer it, I guess you could say. And then boom, HDMI switch, consoles. And I gotta say, it's working beautifully. Zero lag for me. And uh, this is actually the better route to take because this gives me the freedom to put the chat room up here on this PC. So I can now control it with my mouse and keyboard from here without having to use a little PC down there. And I'll probably move that somewhere at some point. Um, but more importantly, it also allows me to preview everything in OBS, which still has input lag, which is perfectly normal. But because I'm using the HDMI uh, source down here and not DisplayPort, that means I'm seeing a native signal. And that, my friends, is huge. It has changed the game. I'm loving it. And speaking of my setup, I also unboxed my brand new mouse right here, which has Maui fur on it. There you go. It is wireless. I'm loving it. I do have to get used to this little uh, number pad on the left because I've never had a mouse like this before. All right, so basically, for those not aware, this is an MMO mouse. MMO standing for Massively Multiplayer Online. You know, like Elder Scrolls Online, World of Warcraft, blah, blah, blah. All right, so basically, these buttons on the side, which have a very nice click to them, are used for shortcuts. So instead of having to press one, on my keyboard, I can press one on my mouse and concentrate my fingers on W, A, S, and D. And this is kind of like a muscle memory thing. So over time, you're going to memorize which is which, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. See, I got it right. And of course, everything can appear on screen in like WordPad if you need to practice because the actual numbers will show up. So that's how I was practicing last night. So um, anyway, I haven't used this in an MMO yet. I did, however, use it in CSGO the other night, and I was quickly switching between my primary weapon and my grenade by pressing 1 and 4, which is really nice. Okay, so yes, you could easily just press the keys on the keyboard, but like I said, wouldn't you rather your left hand just be focused on the other keys, and this can be primarily used for aiming, firing, reloading, and switching weapons, or um, even like your special attacks in MMOs? Yes, that is definitely the route to take. However, the most interesting aspect of this mouse, besides the little number pad on the left, is the fact that it is indeed wireless. And despite what some people tried to tell me, and I'm sure will tell me in the comments, because that's what people do, there is no input lag that you can tell. Um, so technically, it does have a one millisecond response time. One millisecond. In other words, you're not going to notice it. And well, you have to ask yourself, guys, haven't we been using wireless accessories for years. And guys, well, I don't know about you, but I don't think I've ever had a serious issue with input lag with any of these controllers. So why should it be any different with a gaming mouse? And you also have to keep in mind, we've had gaming mice for years. I mean, my 
first gaming PC in what, like 2004 or so? Yeah, it wasn't a wireless gaming mouse, but it was a wireless mouse in general. And as far as I can recall, I never had any serious issues gaming with it. And that's kind of saying a lot because I used to play a lot of Half-Life, a lot of Gary's Mod and all that good stuff. And I don't think I ever had an issue. When a company like Razer or Corsair makes a gaming mouse, they're going to go above and beyond to make sure this thing is responsive as hell. Now, perhaps this whole speech isn't necessary, but I've had people kind of, not diss me, but saying, David, you can't do this, you're gonna have latency. No, I'm sorry. I'm gonna say this in the friendliest way possible. You're wrong. You can game on a wireless mouse. Do not let anybody tell you otherwise. And best of all, this is also a wired mouse. So if I do want to make this wired, I simply plug the USB cable in the front and boom, it's wired. But honestly, I don't ever see that being an issue because according to Razer, this thing is gonna give me 20 hours of battery life. And actually I have a setting set up in the Razer Synapse software where if the battery gets below 20%, the scroll wheel will actually flash. So how cool is that? You can actually customize that. And of course, as you can see, it does indeed light up. I love my lights. What can I say guys? What can I say? All right, so this is how you charge it. It's a magnetic charging base. You drop it in and it's charging. One more time. You see, you see how it's kind of like pulling it in? Cause it's magnetic. I love it. It just works guys. It just works. I love it. However, there is one thing I had to be completely honest about and I'm always honest with you guys. It's going to take some getting used to. And that's not necessarily a bad thing because again, this is my first MMO mouse ever. So I've never had this kind of functionality before. And uh, yeah, sometimes I do find myself accidentally pressing the buttons, but that shouldn't be an issue moving forward after like a few days of solid usage. So uh, yes, if you want to check it out, Razer Naga Epic Chroma, I'll link it right below on Amazon. I think it was like $140 or so, not, not, not the cheapest mouse, definitely not the cheapest mouse. But as you guys know, I'm taking this whole PC gaming thing seriously, so I wanted to treat myself to something nice. And besides, I don't like crap. I don't I don't buy cheap shit. Just to put kindly. Okay. <clears throat> or bluntly rather. Yeah, saying shit isn't a kind word. It's blunt. But that's who I am. And down here, I'm looking at my stream deck, which is still in the box. Maybe I'll finally set that up today. So yes, guys, it is no secret. I'm extremely proud of this setup. And I gotta say, it looks amazing at nighttime. For instance, I'm over here just lying in bed at night, looking up at it, I'm like, damn, I made that. I made that. And I am just so, so proud of my setup. Oh, and down here, I have my Google Home. Hey, Google, tell me a joke. One joke. Coming up, the hokey pokey can be tough the first time you try it, but eventually you turn yourself around. Hilarious. Alexa, tell me a joke. What did the ping pong ball say to the golf ball? Cute dimples. The golf ball. I just love these smart home speakers, and I love them so much that I'm pretty sure I'm going to pre-order myself the HomePod, like, today. Because I think it went on sale today, at least, at least for pre-order. And it's coming out, I think, Friday, February 9th. Actually, let's, let's, let's see if Alexa will know that. Alexa, when does the HomePod release? The Apple HomePod is expected to be released on February 9th, 2018. Wow, Alexa, you're smart. I try my best. That is so cool. And that is why I love these smart home speakers. It saves me time. And plus, they play me music. That's my primary. Uh, usage, but still, just asking random questions like that is great. Okay, can I enjoy my coffee now? I, I, feel, I feel like my intros to the weekend vlogs are always like extended, but they are, guys, because a lot of uh, cool stuff goes on during the week. But once again, you can, you can see that cool stuff firsthand if you become a patron. Just saying, and that's the last time I'll mention it for today. Time to eat. Yeah, very fancy way of giving you food, huh? Enjoy. <laughs> the propane guy is here. He's downstairs doing his thing. Uh, what was I gonna do? Ring doorbell. I just wanted to show you, so I know when he comes to this part of the property, I can keep an eye on him. You know. Isn't that cool? Very nice. And of course, it does audio, and I can talk to him if I wanted to. I love my ring.
So apparently he's only here to fix the fireplace that he started fixing, I think, about a week or two ago. About a week ago. I gotta stop doing that. Seriously, David, stop doing that. Stop it. Stop it right now. I thought he was gonna do the fireplace too today, like a new fireplace, but I guess not. That's probably next week, he said. Yay, another day where I need to deal with conjunctors. I love it. And it's not a big deal. Hey, at least I'm home and inside, right? I could, I could have it far, far worse. All right, I need to start getting work done. Publish Z pages only of Lockerty Vlog, and then hopefully publish a few blog posts. Actually, if he's not here for a while, yeah, I mean, for like more than like an hour or so, then I think I'll hit up Rudders for lunch and then go to the office anyway, because I honestly thought he was doing the fireplace today, and that would have taken probably like a few hours. So that's actually good news. Maybe I will go to the office. Not such a bad thing after all, huh? And it's about that time of the day where the sun likes to blind me. What up, son? We meet again. Quick correction, the Razer Naga Epic Chroma is actually 125, not 140. So, that makes it a little better, right? And the propane guy already left. He's like, yeah, they sent me the wrong kit. And he's like, yeah, this is, this is kind of embarrassing. It's the first time it's ever happened. I'm like, dude, I don't care. I'm not judging you. It's like, really? <laughs> yeah, he's a nice guy. Uh, so I guess he's coming back next week. Uh, but yeah, this gives me more free time for today, which is cool. I'm still going to get some work done here for a bit, and then I'll go down to the office. I'm thinking of having soup here. Like, I love soup. I'm a soup freak. Right? Who else likes soup? Let me know right below. I'm watching Meet the Blacks in the background. It's like a spoof. Yeah, it's whatever. I'm getting ready to stream a video that will detail exactly how I stream my gaming consoles on PC with zero latency. And guys, believe me, I went through a lot of trouble, so hopefully I can save you a lot of time. Of course, I'm going to watch the video on my Apple TV first, just to make sure everything looks good. And I'm going to make soup. A very light lunch for now, but of course, I'll stop at Rudder's on the way to the office. It's only 2.30. The parentals will likely be here between 6 and 7, 7 and 8. So I'll get to the office by... I guess four o'clock and I'll work until they get here. So that sounds good. That sounds good. That gives me a few hours to get more work done. So, so yeah, I'm being productive here and I'll be productive there. Best of both worlds. Now what soup do I want? Baked potato with cheddar and bacon bits? Or do I want pub style chicken pot pie? Hmm. There's only one way to do this guys. Here we go, ready? Okay, I don't know which is which. Here we go. Eeny miny freaking mo. Catch its soup by its toe. Soups don't have toes. The more you know. Eeny meeny miny freaking mo. Baked potato with cheddar bacon bits. Cheddar and bacon bits it is. I, I don't even know what it's called. This is what I call an easy lunch. Love it. And I like potatoes. Can you blame me? I love me some potatoes. My soup is done. And this kind of soup is just screaming for one thing. Cheddar cheese, right guys? Am I right? Come on, it's the American thing to do. You can't have a baked potato themed uh, food or whatever meal. It's not really a meal, but you know what I mean? And not have cheese. Oh, baby, look at that, look at that. Damn. Also, I just talked to Wawa Mom on the phone. She um, had a great trip in Charlotte, North Carolina. And she's actually leaving work in 15 minutes. Yes, at three o'clock, so I guess, I guess we're gonna be here earlier than usual. So yes, that definitely means I'm gonna be in the office very shortly. Drippity drip. And I love that picture I took. A fly? I think I took that in Seaside. I'm pretty sure I did. I'm back in the office. Got myself some snacks at Rudder's. I, I, didn't, I didn't really want any hot food because I didn't know what I felt like. I know, well, plus I'm gonna have dinner in probably a few hours. I got this, a baked cherry pie. Oh no, wait, hold on, baked cherry cheesecake. I don't know it was cherry cheesecake. I just thought it was a different 
like coating or baking method for the cherry pie that I usually get. Interesting, limited edition. Look at that guys, I don't even know what I bought. And of course, French apple pie. That's always a safe bet. You gotta love the Tasty Cake brand, right? Or at least we do on the East Coast, but maybe, maybe you do have it on the West Coast. Let me know. I don't know, you can import it. And of course I got coffee and my Magic Mouse is fully charged. That's always good. All right, let's get some work done. Guys, 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 listen to this music. Doesn't that take you back? My God. <laughs> it's funny, hearing this music, I can just see myself sitting in the Halo 2 lobby and just waiting, waiting for friends to get ready. Man, those were the days. Not that I don't have fun now, because I, I do. I love I love playing with my friends online, like, you know, PC, Xbox, PlayStation, whatever it is. And especially on Twitch now. That just changes everything for me. But hear, hearing this music takes me back to the days when I used to play Halo all the time with, like, Alfred and Richie and all them. And Danny. Were, were um, you part of the crew? No, I don't... No, I don't think I don't think we're in the crew, were you? Back then. Whew, good times. I'm gonna cry. No, I'm not. Uh, it's already 7.39, guys. I was here for like what, four or five hours? The pretzels have been here. Uh, I'm just I've just been trying to stay productive. So I got two blog posts done. I wanted to get three done, but I got I got two. Um, however, I will say the blog posts are more in depth than I thought they would be. You know, regarding Project Wix. So it's pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, I got my domain this week, got hosting, it's all, it's all paid for. Now it's just a matter of creating content. And I'm doing well so far, I'm doing well. So cool, productive evening, and now let's go to Rutter's. I'm in the mood for pizza, and I'm gonna start a new show on Netflix about some demonic kid, but I think it's comedy, so. Oh, also, I watched The End of the King World this week on Netflix. Woo, good show, good show, check it out. Maui. Hey you, come here. What's that noise? Is the Google Home Mini still playing music? Yep, it's been playing music all day. I love my room, guys. I love it just so, so much. Of course, it's gonna look even better when everything's actually on. All right, just got back from Rutas and I got myself mozzarella sticks. Booty, which are always good. Rudders has some very good mozzarella sticks. And buffalo chicken pizza. Let's see if they did it right. I said it respectfully, of course, because sometimes they get it wrong. There you go. Yeah. So it's basically pizza with fried chicken and buffalo sauce. No. Stay. Get. Denied. Yo, this is good. And it's not too much either. Portion control is important. Even though I ate 12 tacos this week. Still though, portion control is important. Hey, hey, hey. He's a smart cat. Trying to catch me off guard? All right, I'm gonna eat and watch that show on Netflix. I can't think of the name right now. Oh dear Lord, oh dear Lord. All right, so that show I was talking about, Little Evil, yeah, it's kind of a movie and I didn't realize that until I checked the time and it was like an hour and 20 minutes left. I'm like, what? And it was okay. It was okay, it, w it wasn't that good. Uh, I, th I think it's worth watching for the comedy alone. And a very nice surprise, I did not know this. It stars Evangeline Lilly. Ooh, I love her. I've always, always loved her since Lost. And honestly, she looks exactly the same. She looks exactly the same, which makes me so happy. I love you, Evangeline. You're never gonna see this, but I love you. Although I gotta say, she sounds different than she did in Lost. I mean, Lost came out years ago, so it makes sense as you get older, your voice changes a little bit. But yeah, she looks exactly the same. Okay, there you go. Little Evil, it's called. Little Evil. Right there. Check it out. You might enjoy it. Okay, time to stream. I just don't know what I'm streaming. Besides PUBG later. That's like around midnight. I'm debating between Horizon Zero Dawn and South Park The Fracture But Whole. Horizon kind of stresses me out because I, I have to level up still. I think I'll play South Park. Yeah. Although I will say Horizon's amazing. Like, it's an incredible game. I just have a lot to learn still. You hear that noise? That's what Maui does. He likes to scratch on the 
wash and dryer after going to the bathroom. Like, it's going to do anything. Oh, by the way, Rudder's that pizza and my... There he is. That pizza and mozzarella sticks? Solid as hell. It's 1.24 in the morning. Streaming is going well. Yeah, look at that setup. Very nice. And I'm going to make myself a drink. My options are very limited, so I hope this is good. I'm going to have some crushed orange soda with a few shots of Parrot Bay Pineapple Rum. It's probably good. If anything, it's going to be very tropical. I didn't get any chicken dinner tonight. Hopefully I'll get one soon. That should be good. Let's see, guys. Let's see how it mixes. Huh. Dude, that is so cool looking. It looks like it's freezing in place. I'm probably gonna pee the bed. Wake up all moist. And I know the framing is terrible right now. This whole YouTube thing is never gonna work out for me, is it? Don't wanna play. Dude, I will call this the orange pineapple. Creative, right? This isn't gonna last me long, guys. Onward. I've been haxered by myself because I logged in my other PS4 in here. Uh, because I'm uploading my save data for Horizon Zero Dawn into the cloud. That way I can download it to this PS4. You gotta love convenience. Yes, today is kind of a lazy day for me. I'm not looking to do too much. The parentals are occupied with their own guests. I think Dan's coming over later for the hangout, but not until like midnight. So that's definitely the latest he's ever gonna get here. I, I feel kind of guilty, but he... He volunteered. I'm like, dude, are you sure? Well, because guys, you know me. I always worry, like, if someone's driving late, especially to a destination that I'm involved in and I feel responsible. But he'll be fine. He'll be fine. So that means I got to pick him up beer today at Rudders. I'll do that much later. It's 2 o'clock already. Yeah, that's late. But it's kind of early in a way because today is going to be spent mostly relaxing, gaming. I definitely want to get a lot of progress in with Horizon. That way I'm more experienced, uh, you know, the next time I play on Twitch, because I feel like a noob on Twitch, which I am. I am a noob. I just, I, just, I just got the game this week. But the game's incredible. And last night was fun. PUBG played for about like, like four or five hours. And now I'm making scrambled eggies. And coffee, of course. Come on. No day would be complete without coffee. Dear Lord. Careful to not burn your eggs. I like it nice and fluffy. Yep, that's good. Yeah, I only made two eggs. I don't need anything too overkill. Hey Google, stop. Alexa, enjoy your day. Sorry, I don't know that one. Hey Google. Enjoy your day. See you on the flip side. <laughs> See you on the flip side. I gotta say, Google Home might be a little more spunky. Is that the right word? Anyway, there's Horizon Zero Dawn. And side note, if you happen to get the new DualShock 4 controller, look, the light is up top now. I mean, it's down here still. But you also see it up top, and I gotta say, that looks so sweet. Making myself some Stouffer's mac and cheese. Good stuff. And guys, check it out. I made some major progress. I'm currently level 15. I was 10 before. I found some new weapons, picked up some new skills, and overall, I feel a lot, just a lot better. A lot better, basically. Seriously, my skill level went from here to here and now I'm much much more prepared for just larger enemies 
bigger battles. Much, much better now, because yesterday on Twitch, I just didn't really do that great, because I'm so, I'm so new to the game still. But man, some good progress. All right, mac and cheese time. I guess I'll watch something random on Netflix, HBO, or, oh wait, Plex. Apparently I need to watch Halt and Catch Fire, I think it's called. All right, I gotta say, Halt and Catch Fire episode one was actually pretty damn good. Very nerdy, like extremely nerdy, which is the kind of stuff I love. Now, can it hold my attention? I say that for a reason. Unfortunately, Mr. Robot has lost my attention. I uh, made it to season two, episode two, and I was like, David, you're not enjoying this, are you? And I was like, no, David, you're not. You're not, because that's what I do. I talk to myself, apparently. But seriously, um, Halt and Catch Fire seems like it's something I could enjoy more. Uh, all the 80s references are great. The music's great. The production quality is pretty good. And just the vibe of it. I love tech stuff. I love nerdy stuff. I love geeky stuff, obviously. That's no secret. But cool. And guys, look at these colors. Look at these colors. Just makes me want a new Vice City. Vice City. Come on, Rockstar, please. Make it happen. All right, I'm gonna have one more cup of coffee. I'm gonna play about an hour and a half more of um, Horizon Zero Dawn. Great game. And then head to Target, head to Sheets, come back here, enjoy my dinner, chill, and then start to hang out at 10. And then Dan will be here around midnight. Oh, and I'm gonna rudders before I get back to get beer. Beer. Well, alcohol. I don't really drink beer. Yeah, I come back and Maui's listening to classical. Maui, you're a classy AF. You know that? Look at these lights. Amazing. Hi, Maui. Hi. You chilling? We just said goodbye to our company. And it's pretty cool. The guy was in my bedroom just taking pictures of my PC, which makes me happy because, you know, come on, come on. And he was sending it to his son, I think. And then his son asked him to ask me if I have a 1070 or 1080. I said 1080 Ti. You know, you know. All right, so I went to Target and Sheets. Target was like, Packed with Mennonites tonight. It was like a Mennonite convention. It's pretty cool. Also went to Rudders. Got my Red's Apple Ale for the hangout. Looking forward to that. For the first time ever, I got something new. At, okay, not for the first time ever, but I did I did get something new at Sheets. Um, it's Carolina slaw, they call it. Yeah, so it's spicy chicken sandwich with coleslaw, cheddar cheese, and chili. Sounds very interesting, right? It could be horrible, I doubt it, I doubt it. So let's try it. Oh, also I went to Target. Got bread, frosted flakes, sugar, and milk. Oh, and butter. It was like a very minor Target trip. Look, Sweet, I didn't mind wearing a chain. I wanted to look a little more professional. <laughs> Ellie, you look okay, snazzy. I have my... Dancing. Oh, hello, I am, yes. Welcome. Hi, I'm being rude. Props. Yeah. Dude, midnight, you got it. Well, actually, 11.45. That, but still, that's like the latest arrival. Respect. After work, 10 o'clock. Yeah. And he's drinking pretty heavily already. I'm already two beers in. Yes. Mm. Like, quickly, though, quickly. Is there anything in that cup? Mm. You're gonna bomb. I'm gonna be the first time. So, do you like to set up? I do. I get the chair. It's a little messy right now. Guys, I, I broke the Yeti. So, I'm using the blue snowball. Blue balls. But I'll have a new Yeti here. In this blue balls. So, it's a great mic. It is. Oh, so basically, I have the USB cable going across here. Isn't that cool? Like it's going down and then under? Fancy. It's all about that cable management. Okay. <laughs> Ellie. Wait, I gotta open this. Hold on. Ready? Where's the bottle opener? Ready to take a shot, Ellie? No. Oh, bottle opener. Oh, wait, no, we don't even have liquor yet. Hold on. No, uh, Hold on. It's no? rum. No, I didn't even, I didn't even pour a shot. What's oh. rum? No. You know what, rum? No. I'd prefer the fireball over the rum. You want the next door and get it? Next door? The house. Oh. There's like a tiny bit in the freezer. Nah, I'll just bomb later. It's okay. Wait, no, I'll get the fireball. Come on. Okay, we're taking it. Guys, we'll be right back. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. All right, since Dan hates, sorry, Dan hates pineapple wrong, guys. I mean, I don't prefer the vodka either. It's good. All right, well, we'll go, we'll go we'll go next door and see what's there. Echo, Alexa, we just we just we just gotta be quiet, though, because the parentals are sleeping. Ew. By the way, now that I have two beds, you can sleep here if you want, and I'll sleep next door. Is that cool? 
That could be good. So in a way, you have the house to yourself jumps tonight. On me every morning. He does. He's, <laughs> he's a very rude dog. So in a way, you have the house to yourself tonight. You, you could party. You could steal all my shit and whatever. Just just steal don't steal my shit. PC, right? Oh. I don't think I, I, don't, I, don't I don't think you would. Think, what was that? No. I, I don't want Maui escape. <laughs> thank you. Good call. Oh look, a random Mac Pro just sitting in the hallway. <laughs> it's vintage. It's okay. And the first Xbox. Isn't that cool? What's this? Oh, those are speakers I bought. Maybe. They they kind of light up. No, actually, no. Wait, do they light up? I forget. I don't know. No, they don't. Satuki. Satachi? 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 Okay, let's go. Satiki. Satiki. What's that alcohol you get at Chinese restaurants? You know what I'm talking about? The, uh... Soy sauce? <laughs> <laughs> it feels like freaking spring yeah. out here. First I know, isn't it nice? Ring alert. That's a good thing. Uh, uh, tomorrow when I wake up. Got it. Got it. Is it enough? Right, I'm having Pirate Bay. Right, How many beers are in there? I about it, and then I watched this video, and it kind of, it, he turned That's the last it. beer. It's going to be a good Really? Oh but there's, there's, there's more red. Okay. Just yeah. Made How many? 4,030 minutes watch. <laughs> Seven more? Oh, okay. Okay. That's not bad, yeah. Thirty-one. That's why I asked you if you want me to buy you something at Rudders. I, I, I thought there was more. They're, they're, they're still open. That's true. They could always make a trip. They, they don't stop serving beer until like three. Oh, now you're doing that. That's right. That was about to happen. I mean, this isn't much better, but. Yo, this new desk gives me so much more room for stuff. Right? Oh, so about that desk. Except tequila, because there's no tequila. Tequila no. makes me sloppy. You really should have different tier levels. That's you literally have a bar at home. You, I do. you could have thrown something idea. in your car. I could have. Oh, yeah, yeah that's true. Um, yeah, I could get it on the one hand. I just back. think it's funny that people like those lights, making though? any money from it or complain that they're Is that a rat? make money from it. Huh? No, no, no I never did it. Oh. I never did it. <laughs> just the the, um, never my the, the LEDs. And I'm not gonna never and I never will be. The what? The LEDs? I have LEDs. Or no, the, the one that For I... For the desk. I haven't, I haven't put them up yet. The ones I sent you. The, of my basement? Oh, the picture. Yeah, dude, that looks cool. That looks really cool. Does it come with the remote? You can change? Good. Yep. Good, I like that. And we hung a new uh, flat screen TV today, too. Yeah. Isn't it funny that people still say flat screen? Like, flat every TV screen. is flat screen. <laughs> is it plasma, Sonny? Well, no, we took down, like, a, a like a 15-inch, like, CRT, big-ass TV oh, off of the wall. CRT? Yeah. Off the wall? Off the we mounted on the wall, yeah. That must be a lot of weight. Had to be, like, 30, 30 pounds, probably. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Wait, what size TV? Probably like 15 or 20 inches, maybe. Oh, so it's smaller. But it was still, small. it was still, heavy, still heavy. It was a CRT. It was my, heavy. My, my old CRT was 30 inch. Cathode ray tube. Yeah. My, my old one was Sony, 30 inch. That thing was yep. heavy. It, it had oh, handles Sony, on the side. Oh, uh, Sony Trinitron? Yeah. Good job. He knows. Yeah. All right, Ellie. I'm going to present you like it's hot. Yeah. yeah. Do it, son. Look at you all dressed up. He took his beads off. No, now I look presentable. Um, that's, what that's what I'm saying. Ah, thank you. Thank you, Jimmy. Um, you look good, sir. Thank you kindly. And the, 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 the very, <laughs> very, very obvious. I like it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ellie, that is a very small <laughs> shot, sir. <laughs> um, well, here's to, here's to everyone here. Uh, Happy New Year. It's, New it's Year, great, New Year. It's great to see some familiar faces. All you familiar faces over here. I um, just want to say that this should be a really great upcoming week. This should be a week of productivity, of yes. success, of health. Everyone should be healthy. I'm sick. Of, I'm so know, healthy with this. Of alcohol. wealth, of uh, whatever you may need. And you know, if you're whether it's whether it's a uh, whether it's health, whether it's uh, whether it's uh, money, whether it's uh, like starting a weight loss journey, whatever it may be. Uh, you should all have Keto Ellie, right? What'd you say? Isn't that your name? Your your new name? Well, I changed my name on, on Twitter to Keto Ellie. Yeah, Keto right? Ellie, yeah. Um but uh Keto Lee. Keto, Keto Ellie. Lee, yeah. <laughs> but anyways, uh yeah, that's basically it. Just uh, you know, just should all just, you know, have what you need and do it happily and be productive, and as David likes to say, do at least one productive thing a day. Yes. And as, and as I say, and as I say, keep smiling. Good Always. Drink. Good. Always. Good job, Alex. Cheers. Cheers. Smiling, keep exactly right. Keep smiling, keep shining. <laughs> now Cheers. that would be my head for like. Dude, my setup looks sweet. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers.
Cheers! Oh, cheers! Okay. Rum and fireball! Oh. What'd you say? Dude, that is like juice! <laughs> Look at the difference! That is like juice! So good! You gotta try it! Uh, is it the rum or pineapple you don't like? Both. <laughs> you, don't, you don't like fireball either. <laughs> Not really, but I'll take it over the he's road. A, he's a tequila kind of guy, right? You, you gotta bring it and just keep it here. Honestly, sure. I would never touch it. I would just leave it for you. Seriously. That would be good. Yeah. That would be good. That was good, though. It was. Ellie, thank you. I, dude, isn't this great? Ha having a TV as a secondary display? Kind of. I don't know what I'm doing it's now. It's so freaking cool. I love it. It's so big. Look at that. It's I amazing. I'm, I'm just proud of my setup. Oh, oh, that didn't work right. Why didn't they go up there? You can. Oh, wait. There, there you go. Oh, there, yeah. oh, oh, there you yeah. go. Did you know the composer of The Sims, not not this one, but The Sims 1 and 2, is the same composer of the Mac vs. PC ads? Was it the music? Yes. He is, isn't that cool? Sure. That's, did you know that? Oh, I hate him sometimes. No, you don't. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Do it. Oh! <laughs> David got excited. Oh shit! It's all over, I gotta go! <laughs> oh god! That was a good one! Oh my god! Look at the phone! <laughs> it's like all over me! Dude, that was amazing. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know what I'm doing. Wait, we're going to decrease our size. I'm so moist. I know, I just decreased the size too. Question. In 42. If you're underwater, are you oh submerged? Wait, if you're submerged, are you wet or are you just god. submerged? Is it liquid damage or is it not liquid damage? No, Dan. Okay, well, David, I'm proud of you. You made your first. What about me, a little uh, jerk? Uh, oh my god. Patience, I love you. Guys, it's 3.22 in the morning. I'm gonna make nachos. I mentioned nachos and Dan gets all happy. Look. What? Nachos. Oh my god, oh god, another camera. Look at this stuff going on. I do not know where to look right We're now. We're watching a Sims 4 stream. We got the Hangout, we got a Facebook stream. We got going. me. We got you. Hi. <laughs> Good times, right? Yeah. There's a tip. Hi, Tiff. Tip, tip. Hey. Hey. Yes. Go make nachos. I'm gonna make nachos. So, what's happening in this chat up I'm gonna make nachos. Oh man, I'm tired. Good morning, Maui. You enjoying your food? Dan's about to leave. Actually, Dan already left. Yes, yes, yes. Man, Dan, Dan, Dan. I gave you props, sir. You were barely here. Actually, you weren't even here for 12 hours. Seriously, guys, he came here just for the hangout. How cool is that? Um, I mean, it's not like a far, far drive, but just the fact that he did it so late is pretty cool. Oh my God. Why do I do this to myself? Because it's fun, that's why. This is a fairly easy cleanup. I should have put this away before I went to bed. I'm just I'm just glad Maui didn't knock it over or anything. But yes, good times. Thank you to Dan. Thank you to everyone. And rest in peace, Blue Yeti microphone. I have a new one coming one day. Okay, so basically, this is what I think happened. Almost every morning when I wake up, I discharge the electric shock um, you know, within myself or my blankets or whatever. 
But yesterday I touched my microphone and it let out a big shock. It was like, Psh! okay, it wasn't that loud, but it was loud enough where you would hear it, like if you were close by. And then I went to chat with the Yeti microphone last night and it just, yeah, uh, it was like letting out a loud static noise. So I'm doing a return on Amazon, uh, Newegg. Hopefully they let me. Uh, I don't, I don't see why not because in my opinion that shouldn't happen so easily or just so so quickly. I've had that microphone for what two months, uh, but we'll see, we'll see. So to save the uh, new egg replacement uh, process and time, yeah, I'm gonna do a refund on new egg, and I already ordered a new one on Amazon. That way, I don't have to wait for my current microphone to get to new egg, and then they'll send a new one. Um, I just want them overlapping. So yeah. Anyway, long story short, my new microphone will be here Monday from Amazon, and sometime this week I'll send my old one. Back to Newegg. So, and there you go, guys. Boring story, boring story. I am gonna clean up. Dan, thank you again. Patrons, thank you so much. Last Night's Hangout was definitely a lot of fun. And I cannot express how much I love using this TV. It just made things that much more interesting. It's 2.54 p.m. Well, I hope it's p.m. and not, not a.m. That that'll be bad. Guys, I'm signing off. I was at the house next door. I fell asleep for an hour. I'm just weak AF. And I don't mean autofocus. Although I will say this camera is great at autofocusing. Look at that. Especially for a DSLR. It's not so bad. Alright guys, this is a very off weekend. I don't think I showed the parentals once. They did their own thing. I did my own thing. Dan came over. We had fun. Awesome, awesome hangouts. I'm feeling it today, but it's always worth it. I love you guys so much. Um, and I guess that's it. This wraps up the weekend vlog. Probably not a very exciting one, but hey, it is what it is. And patrons, stay tuned. You will be getting another exclusive vlog throughout the week. You guys have an amazing week. Everybody have an amazing week. Be productive. Kick ass in the process. And of course, if you have an idea, stop saying it and start doing it. That's the best advice I could give anyone looking to create a project, start that home improvement thing, maybe even something like you have to type a report. Just do it. Stop putting it off until the last minute and do it because time management is important. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Peace.